Thank you, Samir. And indeed, today, as every year, we organize a competition to reward a number of uh, startups. So we've been doing this with a number of partners who I'm going to invite on stage with me in just a minute. So we had 175 applications to this uh, competition from about 20 countries in Africa, including major, uh, major uh, principally countries in Eastern Africa. So the goal of this competition is to try and get applications of people working on in of uh, challenges to do with sustainable cities of tomorrow. So alongside our partners, because we work together, we have uh, partners that are both technical and financial. And I'm going to call on stage for the Africa Link community. We're going to have Panayitos Royulios, who will be coming up in just a, in a second. So we have Denis Berger as well. He represents the local council. Philippe Baudet for Accelerator M. Frank and Emerging Valley Samir, who is one of the coordinators. He also participates in uh, assessing the applications. And then we have Cyril Chevin. who looks at everything to do with um, intellectual property. So here's the panel, 175 applications from over 20 African countries. We have one winner. Perhaps just before announcing the winners. So here we have the five finalists. We have BioHeat, Yasin Kilefi, we have Edith Kwasi with Ecoplast Inov, Uma Wele with Happy Dem, Sheikhna Koulibaly with Sassaplast, and Yai. Uh, and the last one, uh, the interpreter didn't get to see because the uh, camera has changed. In any case, all of these fantastic entrepreneurs are here with us in the room. So, Yaya Lugagi with his fantastic company. So, first of all, just to explain, the competition is linked to, uh, obviously, so there's a financial prize that's involved. It's an acceleration boost in the territory, in the AMP metropolis, as well as in Africa. We have the Africa Link, we have the Accelerator M as well. So, over the past month, Frank has... Um, hosted two of the winners to try and work with them about their innovation and work on accelerating their solution in Africa and potentially here in France. So the winner or well, the first prize is awarded to BioHeat with Yasin Kelly Fee. It's a company from Tunisia. So the first prize awarded to BioHeat. Yassine's just going to tell us very briefly about his solution. Thank you very much. I'm really moved to tell you about my project. We work on producing alternative sources of fuel. So this can be used in steam trains, in fireplaces, among others. So thank you very much and congratulations. Congratulations indeed. We've spoken about theory and practice in our last panel. So here we have a perfect example of that in this young startupper. 
So, congratulations, Yasin. Let's move forward and have a quick picture. So, congratulations, Yasin. As you would have understood, we've spoken about energy early on. This is a frugal and intelligent way of producing energy in an alternative way. Yasin is already working in France in Puget, which already uses this technology to benefit uh, the population. So, it's an incredibly interesting solution. Congratulations to you, Yasin. And now, the jury prize is awarded to this project is from Mauritania. <coughs> and we spoke uh, we spent a lot of time with the business owner. We found his solution very interesting. It's Abiden, Mr. Omar Awile. So, Abi Dem, who is the winner of the jury prize, well done for winning the Med Innovant Africa Prize 2023. Obviously, he's so moved. He's going to uh, tell us about his project very quickly. Uh, he tends to get a bit carried away because he's so passionate about it. So why don't I hand over to you, sir? Can you tell us about your solution? Okay. It will be difficult because the project is very relevant. I was uh, a migrant in France. I got my papers. So I actually managed to learn a lot by coming here and we've spoken about immigration we need to understand that when an immigrant comes to a country it's not necessarily to stay there this is why I went back to Mauritania and I live in Mauritania so it's just a small part of the expertise which I actually got in France which I've been able to then re-import back in Mauritania so Congratulations. I left France definitively to move back to Mauritania. My family didn't believe in my project though. So I had to come back to Europe to try and launch my project. So I had to borrow money to come back to France. I stayed here and uh, the first competition I participated in was a business competition. And uh, one of the people who supports my project the most is the current Minister of um, Business and Agriculture in, in Mauritania. So one of the problems in Mauritania is the tifa, which is an invasive plant in my country. Each entrepreneur tries to make money. This plant can be converted into insulation for buildings. So it's a good insulating material. So it's very useful for construction. We've used it in defense, security, and uh, buildings to ensure that the inhabitants remain warm during cold periods. So that's pretty much uh, everything that I have to say about my business. Thank you very much for awarding me this prize. It's just incredible. So the criteria which we really focused on is that it is a bio source material 
So it's fantastic to use local sources, which are actually a problem because it's an invasive plant, and then uh, turn that on its head and use it for our advantage. What is happening at the moment, well, thanks to this technology, enables us to have 15, 15 kilograms of uh, carbon dioxide uh, less per unit than we currently have. So we're fixing um, carbon limits in biosourced materials. There are different objectives, the next of which is 2025, so in uh, two years and we're looking at uh, improving the results that we've had even more. So the 2028 objective is 18 kilos. So as you can see we're making great progress. The current issue is about industrializing the process and I very much hope that the Med Innovant prize will help you along your way. So well done, well done. Fantastic. We're going to give you the trophy. Let's take a photograph. I would also like to thank my colleagues for supporting me. Of course, I haven't forgotten you, but uh, it was just because I was so emotional. So please, Yasin, could I invite someone on stage? Tsem, who really helped me with this project. She works in an, an incubator in Tunisia. She's done fantastic work and thanks to all of them, I am here today. I'd also like to ask the winners to step forward to have a group photo. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. So just to finish off, I would like to thank the jury once again, the 175 applications from over 20 countries in Africa. Congratulate the winners. And uh, we're going... So this very much ties in with what I was talking about earlier on during the round table. This is the exact type of project that helps us move forward and continue believing we're going to be finding the solution together. So thanks to you, thanks to Emerging Valley and everyone involved. Well done and congratulations. We're not done. We're not done. Let's continue the award ceremony with the Provence Africa Connect Prize. And I'm going to ask Nicolas to come on stage to award it with me, who is the... So he works at the Ex Marseille Metropolis. Bonjour, mon cher Nicolas. Bonjour. Hello, Nicolas. Hello, everyone. So let's just sit down and put the sign on the stage. Okay, no worries about the sign. <clears throat> Let's stand over here. And we're going to be awarding the Provence Africa Connect prize together. Thank you very much, Sami. I'm really honored to be here. And I would like to apologize for Vincent, my colleague, who unfortunately had to leave. So I'm here filling in for him. As Sami has said, the Provence Africa Connect prize really goes hand in hand with the Med Innovant Prize because it's all about helping entrepreneurs that are looking to develop strong links 
between the European and African business systems. So this really ties into the uh, approach that the Metropolis has. We have many partners such as Samir, who is uh, one of the most important ones, but I don't want to forget all of them, of course. You can see them on the board, French Tech, One Provence, among others, as you can see. So it was fantastic to be able to design this pr uh, prize together. Today, this prize rewards companies that are already locally uh, set up. So we have several categories, the first of which is to reward companies that have developed string, uh, strong relationships. So I'd also like to explain that we have Isham over here, who is the president of the jury. He's the co-president of our organization. He's going to be uh, helping us to award this prize. What else can we say? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So let's do the first prize first. I think that Isham should be coming on stage to award the first winner in the export category. So Isham Melmerini. Perhaps we could say that we actually had two finalists. So Isham, over to you. All of the finalists have been unveiled. So Isham, uh, so I'm delighted to be here. It's I know it's a real ceremony, but it's a, a fantastic, uh, it's incredibly emotional to see that we have young entrepreneurs that create their own businesses. And therefore I'm really delighted to be able to participate in this kind of event. Thank you to the Metropolis for continuing to support this kind of idea. And thank you, Samir, <coughs> Samir for so I'm here for continuing to work on Emerging Valley. So we have the Pre-AP Harm uh, Award and the Impact Diaspora Award. Are these two business leaders here? Perhaps we could just... Uh, give a little bit of background information about the two winners. <coughs> so Diaspora Impact is one of the finalists. Looks at uh, streamlining collaboration between members of the diaspora in Europe and Africa. And De Isham, you're going to tell us who is the export category winner. The winner will be delighted. Because it's pre AFAM. So, round of applause, please. We are also delighted at Africa Link because Dennis, who was here all day, told me. Um, that we're going to be soon having a new member of our organization. So well done. Fantastic. I think it's the other guy, I'm afraid. So you're going to have to hand the trophy over. Yeah, that'll be for next year then. The winner is going to be an important part of our organization at Africa Link in the future and will benefit from all of the visibility that this prize will give him. It's a real foot in the door to the Provence Africa Connect ecosystem. The trophies are magnificent. Go and have a look at the One Provence um, website. It was uh, developed a few days ago and all of the colors and new logos are amazingly beautiful. So just quickly, I would like to say to the winners that of course they will be supported by Africa Link. So they will have uh, coaches who will dedicate their time to helping them. We're also going to help with 
them <clears throat> to, uh, we can also help them go on a first assignment overseas and help contribute financially for that uh, to see the fruits of their labor that they have been working on for so long. So thank you very much. Thank you, Impact Diaspora. Please uh, put your hands together for the winner and we're also going to be taking a picture of the winner and the two finalists. Just a photo. Peut-être que Hichem, tu peux te, oui. te rapprocher du lauréat, puis après on fera la photo. Voilà. voilà. D'abord la photo du gagnant, puis après. Voilà, puis une petite photo de famille avec, avec vous. Voilà, une, une dernière photo avec le, 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 les, deux, les deux finalistes. Très bien. Merci beaucoup. Peut-être que vous voulez dire un mot quand même on, on, Voilà, allez, présentez-vous. Over to you. Please introduce yourself. Good evening, everyone. Thank you to the Metropolis. Thank you to Emerging Valley for organizing the Africa Link event, which has been an exceptional experience. I would like to thank the French Tech, which has helped has contributed to our uh, win. I would like to thank uh, Rashid Alian because he supported me uh, daily. I would like to thank all my team, Swan, Akran, Dr. Krishé. I would like to pay tribute to Thierry and Sophie, my colleagues, who were supposed to be here with me on stage, but decided not to. Human relations are important. We believe in human relations. They are the basis of the farm, BioFarm, which works on innovation to respond to uh, challenges in Africa in order to facilitate access to health care for all French-speaking people. That's the reason why we've developed this first innovation, Bardolink, which ensures that all French-speaking people of the world, uh, whatever is their nationality, can access uh, health care via French pharmacy. We've developed, we've kept on developing new contacts, new relationships, and we uh, created a new platform for uh, French-speaking health care workers, especially in Africa. Thank you all and congratulations. And now, please stay on the stage because now we will uh, unveil the winner of the category Hub Europe Africa. And I will now ask the two finalists, if they're here, to uh, please stay forward. Among them in Senyata are the finalists here. So Amnyata and Aisime. I think there's a connection issue because one of them should have joined us online. And now over to you, Ishem. You will tell us who the winner is. I don't know if Alisima is connected. That's a pity. But congratulations to Senyatna. I wasn't present during the jury sessions, and but Senyatna is the winner. So I already made a mistake <laughs> for the first winner. So congratulations. That wasn't part of the jury negotiations because I was, um, I was needed s somewhere else. But I heard really good things. Uh, someone uh, told me your project was excellent. So congratulations. I wish you a lot of success for your future, in the future. And the winner is... Is ICMA online? Is there anyone here represented ICMA? Unfortunately, it's not connected, it's based in London. So the winner is ICMA. 
Nicola, can I keep it? It's beautiful. Actually, dear Isham, I think there was a misunderstanding because the winner is Senyatna. Senyatna is the real winner. There is a little misunderstanding. Senyatna is the winner of the prize. Congratulations. There are many good things in Emerging Valley and there's a lot of adrenaline rushes too. Thank you very much. You uh, work with women in rural areas. We want them to preserve their traditional methods. Consequently, we use technology to preserve the way they work in the food industry. We want them to keep traditional method and we want to keep doing this. And in several uh, African countries, it is, this prize is vital for us. We're delighted we have it. We work for hundreds of women who are holders of exceptional know-how, who are farmers and who don't use any machines nor any fertilizers. They use sunshine and other traditional methods to produce. And now I would like uh, Miss Sina Mikume to come forward. She is the winner of the first edition and I would like her to tell us about her experience and of all the advantages and the benefits it's brought to her. Please a round of applause for her. Good evening everyone. I am Messina. I am the founder of Messiba International. In 2021, I won the prize Africa Connect. I'm from Marseille and I won with a startup based in Marseille that works in uh, innovation along with two other startups in Cameroon and Côte d'Ivoire. This prize has opened many doors for me because thanks to Africa Link, thanks to Ex-Marseille Provence, I won contracts in Côte d'Ivoire. I expanded my network of contacts and it helped me find investors, mentors. I found Pana which helped me all the time is the president of Africa Link. Isham supports me too. I always call him because I want to expand to Morocco. There's also Denis Berger. So this prize has uh, given me a lot of advantages as a black woman who works in a male, in the male based sector. Let's take a picture. This is the end of this uh, Friends Africa Connect session. Thank you all. Si nos partenaires veulent bien nous rejoindre, surtout là dans la salle, à cette heure tardive. And now, if our partners can please come forward. If they're in the auditorium, obviously. Otherwise, um, I'm going to ask you to please give a round of applause to our partners. And we'll shortly welcome Provence Promotion with the Investing Provence Prize. Et en particulier, Monsieur Philippe Stefanini, que je demande d'applaudir. Let's welcome Philippe Stefanini, the Director of Provence Promotion. I'll be brief. Province Promotion is an agency for economic development of the metropolis and of the Pays d'Al, that is to say the Bouches-du-Rhône department. As we said this morning, one African company in five which chooses to uh, be based in France chooses our territory and this is really vital for our territory and each year 60 to 80 companies, French ones or abroad, choose to uh, settle down here and develop their activity. And among these 60 companies, 60 to 10 are from Africa. 
And when they come here, the uh, company enjoy a label. They settle down here. They enter a community called Invest in Province. And thanks to this community, they can keep on developing, expanding, and uh, creating contacts. So we granted a label to an entrepreneur from Algiers. He chose to uh, come here, and uh, its company will start to operate in Marseille in a few days. It will be an incubator for startups. However, we do have here an entrepreneur from Tunis. He uh, entered uh, this community of African companies that invest in Marseille and he wants, he wants to share his experience with us. He'll be granted the label investing province to congratulate him on his fundraising round. Thank you very much. Thank you uh, very much for inviting me. I love Marseille more and more. And today I've got news to tell you. I wanted to tell you today. We just concluded a fundraising round an 850 million euros financial round. We raised this fund with our uh, long-term investors in Tunisia. These investors uh, from Tunisia are injecting capital here. Uh, De Sources Capital is represented here by ASEN. We've been supported by ABP France. And these achievements have been made thanks to the support we've been given here in Marseille, first with province promotion and then with the accelerator M. Franck Robot is here with all his teams, with Nathaniel. And it is thanks to the team in Tunisia. They watch us online. They are watching us. It is thanks to them that uh, we've achieved so much and I hope we'll be keeping making progress in the future. Here's the label Invest in Province. You could have gone to the Netherlands. Thank you for choosing us and congratulations. Let's take a picture. Bravo, félicitations. Merci. Congratulations. Thank you. Le programme se poursuit. Nous allons avoir euh... Let's move on with a, a, an interesting plenary session with investors. It will start in a few minutes. So please stay until the end before after this plenary session we'll listen to the uh, pitches from the Social Inclusive Business Camp. Are the women entrepreneurs here with us? Please stand up. Please welcome and give a warm applause to the women entrepreneurs of the Social Inclusive Business Camp that have just attended a boot camps in Marseille. Four of them will give you, will present you their